From year to year, month to month, week to week, and day to day, people across the world are obsessed with a phenomenon that is professional wrestling. But why? 101 Reasons to Love Professional Wrestling There are many components of professional wrestling that should be both understood and celebrated, in no particular order. Supercards Big events are nothing new in the world of sports. The NFL has the Super Bowl. The NBA has the Finals. Baseball has the World Series. Soccer has the World Cup. And the entire world has the Olympics. Professional wrestling has supercards. These are highly promoted and highly anticipated shows that feature big rivalries coming to a head, historic championship matches, and the largest crowds of rabid fans that have been waiting for these shows to come. Supercards go back to the early days of professional wrestling. There was always the big payoff for big matches that would often lead to big events at big venues, and sometimes even baseball stadiums. When wrestling began to become a televised production, it was safe to predict that televised supercards were on the way. In 1983, Jim Crockett's NWA would unleash Starcade. This show would feature a gigantic matchup between the nature boy Ric Flair and the legendary Harley Race inside of a steel cage. Thousands of fans would fill the Greensboro, North Carolina arena, and thousands would watch from home. This tradition would continue for decades as Starcade would be the biggest show for Crockett's promotion and then WCW. More supercards would be added to the calendar that fans could and would look forward to for months. But then pay-per-view became a thing. The people at home could pay a fee and tune in from the comfort of their own couch from anywhere in the world. With this, the concept of WrestleMania took the crown of the king of supercards. Since the early 1980s, the WWF and then the WWE have held their annual supercard. WrestleMania has become the Super Bowl of professional wrestling, and rightfully so. This spectacle has featured the biggest stars in the biggest of matches in front of the biggest of crowds. Even if someone doesn't know anything about wrestling, they know that WrestleMania is a big deal. It's just one of those universal events. The fact that the carny business of wrestling has evolved and built up an event so much that they can draw over 80,000 people, sell millions on pay-per-view, and virtually control an entire major city for one weekend, says a lot. The grandiose awe of supercards is not reserved for the history of WWE and WCW. Extreme Championship Wrestling, Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling, and now All Elite Wrestling have all presented their own supercards. And it doesn't end with America-based promotions. Mexico, Japan, and elsewhere have all held their own annual supercard events. Fans of professional wrestling are fortunate to be able to form their own memories with any given show. But it is the supercards that the collective memories and moments that bring us together are made. And they also make our favorite promotions a lot of money. It's something to look forward to. It's a platform for legends to be made. It's both the end of a chapter and the start of a new. It's a supercard. And it's an event you never want to miss.